At this point, you should know how to calculate the surface area of various shapes, such as rectangles, triangles, and circles. So what if these shapes are used to build a three-dimensional object? Adding the area of the shapes within a 3D object gives us something we like to call surface area. Surface area is the total area of the surface of an object. To find the surface area, we find the area of each face and then add them all together. Let's determine the surface area of this triangular prism. We know it's a prism since it has the same shape on each end and parallel walls joining them. So to calculate the surface area of this object, we're going to break it down into the two-dimensional shapes that were used to build it. Let's break it down. To organize our work and to make it easier to know which sides we've already done, we can make a list of all of the faces. Here you can see the faces of this prism. And notice, both of the triangles are the exact same. So we calculate the surface area of one triangle and then multiply it by two. We can see that the sides of the prism are also the same. And notice how many fewer calculations we have to do now. To find the surface area of this triangle, we're going to use the equation height times width divided by two. And we can put the surface area value that we've found beside our triangles on our list. Next, we can calculate the surface area of our rectangles, width times height. And this also goes on our list. So that's all of our surfaces. So let's add them up. We add it up to find our total surface area of 216 centimeters squared. Notice that the units for surface area, in this case we're talking about centimeters squared, are the same for area. Really, they're both areas. Surface area is just the sum of a lot of two-dimensional areas. Let's do one more example, and this time look at a rectangular pyramid. Feel free to pause the video at any point and try the rest of the problem by yourself. First, let's break down the object and make a list of all the faces. What do you see? There are four triangles and one rectangle, and you can see that there are a couple different faces that are the same shape. In fact, all four of the triangles are the exact same. Now, we're given the side length for the triangles, but we need the height to calculate its surface area. We can use our friend the Pythagorean theorem to determine the height to be eight centimeters. Now, to do the surface area for each of the shapes, pause the video here and try calculating the total surface area of the shape by yourself. To calculate the surface area of the triangles, we use the surface area equation to get a final surface area of 48 centimeters squared for each triangle. And we multiply it by four since there are four triangles in our total object. Lastly, we calculate the surface area of the rectangle base. We get 144 centimeters squared. And since there's only one rectangle in the pyramid, we can multiply by one. Finally, we can add all of our totals together to get a final surface area for this rectangular pyramid of 336 centimeters squared. In this tutorial, we looked at surface area and found that surface area is the total area of the surface of an object. When we have a three-dimensional object, we can break it down and list all of our faces as separate two-dimensional objects. We can determine the areas of each of these faces and then add them up. The sum of these areas is our surface area. Note that you'll learn some equations that'll save you some time in calculating surface areas, but for now, you know the basic premise used to derive these equations.
both are important and are useful.